Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and in this video I'm going to be giving you an overview and tutorial of the Click BIOS 4 or the MSI Z87i Gaming AC Mini ITX motherboard. So as you can see on the main screen here, we've got a lot of information. Um, you've got the, the top view here, which shows you your OC Genie button for automatic overclocking. You can enable that in here, as well as your CPU temperature and motherboard system temperature your time, your date, the version of the BIOS, and pertinent information about your processor and memory. You've got a quick lookup of your boot device priority. F12 will allow you to take a screenshot. You've got a language button and a button to close out the BIOS up here. Six buttons on the side of the screen, each with their various settings underneath. First, let's take a look at mFlash. So what this does is allows you to boot into your BIOS and update over off of a flash drive. Um, so you can also back up the BIOS that you're currently running to your flash drive by saving BIOS to storage. On our overclocking tab, we've got all kinds of settings that we can tweak here, including the base clock, the base clock strap, as well as our CPU ratio. The CPU ratio is not one that you can click on, so you have to use your plus and minus keys to adjust that. And um, once you go back to nothing, it'll go back to auto mode. You've also got your memory reference clock and frequency and your XMP profile settings in here. So we want to enable the XMP profile so that we get the maximum speed we can get out of our memory which is a 2133 memory in here and you also got a timing mode setting here as well as special DRAM training settings under the training configuration memory fast boot and all your voltages for your CPU core uh, your CPU processor that you can adjust here as well as your memory voltages and PC H voltage CPU specifications gives you a quick lookup of uh, what the specifications on your CPU are and some technology support that they offer. Pressing escape will bring us back to the other memory or the other menu. Memory Z is a quick lookup of what your uh, memory is set to and under XMP support information it'll show you what the XMP profile is. Uh, settings are right there. That's of course for each DIMM though, there's two DIMM slots on this board so you're going to have matching memory in it most likely. Under CPU features you can enable hyperthreading or disable hyperthreading, set the active processor cores as well as many other CPU settings. One of the other cool things is the board explorer on here so that allows you to take a look at what each port is and um, like in this situation we can uh, scroll over our memory and it'll show us what is actually connected into the memory slot the same could be said for our SATA ports so we scroll over the SATA port and it tells us what's plugged into each one very helpful for when you're trying to figure out which port you're your uh, devices are plugged into. Hardware monitor gives you all kinds of information about your temperatures and your fan speeds as well as your voltage levels. It's definitely a very nice little uh, utility to use especially when overclocking or troubleshooting your system. OC profiles allows you to save up to six overclocking profiles to the board. You can also back them up to USB which of course you'd want to do before updating the BIOS and load them back in from a USB drive as well. Under settings you've got your system status which is where you would change your date and time, your boot settings and your priority for your uh, boot options. You also have your USB hard drive boot priorities few security settings allowing you to uh, set an administrator password, uh, use a USB stick 
as a key to access the system or configure the chassis intrusion alarm. You've got your save and exit of course and under advanced you have many other settings including the wake up events, Windows 8 specific configurations, power management, Intel Smart Connect technology, USB configuration whether it's enabled or disabled um, it actually tells you what's plugged into these as well rapid start technology your integrated graphics configuration so right now we have it set to initiate the PCI Express graphics first but if you wanted it to initiate your integrated graphics you could change this to IGD integrated peripherals so this you can change your modes for your LAN controller um, your LAN options allowing it to boot off of the network and also your SATA mode which does default to AHCI mode which is good since most um, drives support that at this point you can set hot pluggability on these SATA drives so say you had a front port or front drive bay on your machine that was hot swappable you could change the port that it's plugged into to be hot pluggable so you can un unplug the drive without uh, losing data your HD audio controller as well as your high precision event timers whether they're enabled or not you've got your ACPI settings whether the power LED is dual color or blinking and your PCI subsystem settings um, allowing you to set the generation that your PCI Express is auto works well on this so there's no reason to change that you've also can change your PCI latency timers in here one thing to note about the overclocking is if your OC Genie button is pressed which it indicates with the little uh, blue writing here then when you go in here a lot of these settings are already grayed out and adjusted and you can't push them any further so if you wanted to customize these this overclock you would have to turn off the OCG and uh, go back into it to adjust those the way you want them this has been a quick overview of the Click BIOS 4 for the MSI Z87i Gaming AC Mini ITX motherboard I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and for the full review please check out www.hightechlegion.com Take care